I say our speed run because it is ours. These are our openings. We're ready to do it. Three minute or five minute? It's gotta be three minute. Gotta be. Hey, Wasabi Cashew, thanks for the 21 months. We also have IRL fan zoner Choose True. Thanks for the 44 month resub, buddy. Cheers. Nice to uh nice to meet you the other day. We'll see you tonight as well. Go fan zoners. Clever combat. Thanks for the 27 month prime. Five minute blitz is like Capri pants. Just why? <laughs> Tommy's ready, says Lolly. Okay, that's verified. Oh, you're welcome, Clever Combat. Yeah, this is a series I've been uh, weeding to get into. I think 7 or 7.30 tonight, cuz. They'll always start at one of those two times. We'll see you there as well, uh, Angry Nerd Rocker. A spinal tap. Couldn't get you uh, up for a burger and a candidate slot, eh, bud? Tough guy to get a hold of. We're missing you here in Toronto. I am going to start at 400. All right. I'm going to get into it here. This has been long awaited. We're going to do three minute blitz. This is a series where, of course, I'm not guaranteed to get an opening that we've prepared uh, together. Obviously, any move could get played, any random move. But we have a lot of openings that... We do have ready. I will ever so briefly review them right now. With the white pieces, I'll definitely only be playing e4. And against c5, we have this fantastic opening, the zebra. e5 with the idea c3 and d4. So most likely move is this, because what the hell is e5? Boom, we have this ready to go. Takes, and the game continues from here, where the knight retreats, and we use our pawns to keep bothering the knight, gain some space, gain some time, get a lot of really active pieces very quickly. That's against c5. Against c6, we've been preparing this uh, drunken knight variation, where... We take on e4 with the knight. Of course, again, not forced, but very likely, especially when we pre-move these moves. And then the knight will drop back here after the most likely knight f6, or knight d7, knight f6, doesn't matter. We still drop back to f2. And we go for stuff with the g-pawn. It's just an unorthodox square for the knight. I've been enjoying the positions. Getting a fresh position, though. Most of... This speedrun should be positions that you've really never seen before, except when we've played them on stream. So they should be very fresh, ready for you guys to try, and hopefully we get some success so you can see how to play the openings, even past the opening phase, into the middle game, etc. Um, we also have the French, of course. And we're playing this nice opening against the French. C3 with knight f3 pre-move. So the idea is that they take, we give a check, we take back. Okay, maybe we push the pawn, have a nice uh, attack on the king side. But a lot of my games against stronger players have gone like this, and the idea is to take that bishop. Get the bishop pair and play from there. 
So we're playing against like very likely moves. Against d5, simply put, I'm playing the move a3. And if they take, this is my undefeated opening with an extra move. That's it. This is the exact same as this opening. Except I have an extra a6 move in here. So that's the plan. Obviously against d4, I'm going to be playing e5, full undefeated. We're only going to be using openings that we've come up with and that we've popularized, let's say. Against e4, I'm definitely going to be playing e5. And we have a few moves ready, like we have the Hamilton defense here, queen f6, which we uh, came up with. We have uh, bishop c4, at which point I've been enjoying this knight e7 move. All of our systems are going to be having something to do with knight e7 and queen f6, basically. Like this. And okay, it depends how white plays. Even d4, I'll be playing queen f6, and again, very similar ideas. So that's pretty much the black repertoire, kind of simple. Not too complicated. And of course, we have the most options with e4, e5. Truly so many to choose from. We can try the famous Pegasus Plunge. Four knights, knight d5. We have bishop c4, the Jerome. We also have the Joko Bellissimo with queen e2. All variations that we came up with and analyzed and prepared together on stream so many many options for this uh for this series but those are some of the openings you can expect i'm sure we'll develop some favorites maybe some quick wins or ones that feel very successful but the nice thing about this series is there won't be too many things that you've seen before or if you've seen them before it will be on this channel so they're definitely not going to be things your opponents are prepared for, ready for. The idea is to bring people in to your repertoire, our repertoire. And yeah, hopefully you find the positions interesting. I'm sure we're going to start at 400, play a move, boom, immediately a reply, and it's nothing that we've prepared. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm ready for that. So I can't promise every... Every opening is going to be exactly something we prepared, but we'll just uh, see how many we can get. And hopefully these openings prove to be effective, because if I'm playing the same openings every time, I'm sure we'll eventually get to learn, oh, these are common blunders. Oh, this opening always wins, etc. So let's, uh, let's give it a shot here. Definitely going to be playing three minute games and we'll be starting at 400. So let's see if we can play our openings. Obviously, there might be lots of blunders early on. We'll try to take them in stride. Three minutes. All right. E4, E5. So far, so good. The knight comes out. So does the knight to c6. And I'll start with, because we can, we have a few openings we can try to play uh, at this point. I'll start with this one. All right, we see d6. And I think what I'm probably going to do here is just go knight c3 and maybe even knight d5. I'm assuming knight f6 will get played. But after knight f6, then knight g5 is a pretty good, uh, pretty good response. Now, hang on a sec. It's my opponent doing the Pegasus plunge to me. That's what it feels like. Honestly, I kind of respect it. I feel like he's doing my opening against me. First game in the series. We might have a fan here. All right, buddy. I respect you. I'm in a castle. Okay, takes. 
I have three pieces developed and I'm castled and my opponent has a whopping none. So feeling pretty good about that. Bishop e6, always have to credit the players that defend checkmate on f7. It sounds obvious, but it's, re it's really not, not something that, uh, that gets done, seriously. I honestly think you put a bunch of 400s in this position, half of them blunder made. So credit to Buddy here. Do I want to take this? Honestly, not so much. Um, I think I'm just going to drop my bishop back. Would like to play d4. He's going to take. Open up my rook for me. Wonder if we're going to play d4 or maybe just d3 and bishop out. But yeah, rook d1 and d4 looks pretty nice. He's got to develop. He shouldn't be thinking about anything except those moves here. Okay, very nice, very nice. Need to see this from him, need to see that. All the developing moves, all of them. Make them all happen. Okay. Definitely not uh, a terrible move, c6. I still think he would do better if he did the, these moves. Yeah, so opening things up, that's probably not going to be the way. Your king's in the middle, you're not developed. You're losing material with check. Ouch. The only thing we have to be careful of after rook takes is not to take like this. That would be just, just embarrassing. So we won't do that. Not going to fall for it. Just got to move our queen here. E2 looks like a pretty safe square. Got this pawn hanging next. Bishop to g5 coming next. And of course, a7 is also hanging. Let's not forget that. Okay, knight here. I think we are going to get developed like this. I want to have my rook covering checkmate just so I can feel free to move my pieces. Let's take back. This should be seven. We're, again, happy to trade. Let's grab that. We can grab a7. We can grab e4. Not going to lie, uh, a7 is tempting, but I think e4 is the one to grab. Queen b4 check. Kind of stops him from running away as well. Okay, check. Hmm. I think we'll just grab this. And get ready to play our habits move. I'll take a pawn with check first, but the feel-good move of the year. G3 or H3? Nothing feels better than this. What a professional move. Were there better moves available? Yes. But we absolutely want to play h3, keeping those good habits in mind. Okay, let's go for this idea. Could like use our queen to like take all the pawns, but let's just make another queen and There we go. A good game. I thought he played pretty well, I'm not gonna lie. GG. All right, knight d4 caught me off guard. I said, wait a minute. This guy's playing our openings here. I can't take it, you know, out of respect for the Pegasus plunge, so. Not gonna go down that road. Yeah, I really did think he played well. He didn't blunder that much, right? The only blunder was this plan that he had of c6, d5. Really, after this, bishop here, castle would be so solid. Game would continue for a while. But c6, d5, how can you avoid doing something like that? Just understand that the most important things in the opening are getting castled and developed. This does none of them. That's a great plan, but save it for the middle game when you've already done all the other stuff. Hey, Mr. Keen.
This is a new speed run where we're only playing openings that we've invented on stream together. So everything should be pretty new, pretty fresh. Opening that the opponents don't know much about them, and we get some uh, some nice positions that we are familiar with and our opponents are. It took a while because we kind of had to come up with something against everything, but we have fresh ideas everywhere. Some very serious, some less serious, but they all work. And I'm going to attempt to show that. Fine, Brian. Thanks for the tier three seven month resub. Cheers, Brian. Big zebra guy. DP Leo, thanks for the 21 month resub. Welcome back, sir. Let's go for the next game. All right. Well, we're getting the white pieces every game so far. E4, E5. Knight F3. Knight C6. We did Bishop C4 last time. Let's try Knight C3 this time. Knight D5. Boom. Boom. The Pegasus plunge. All right, now knight d4, you'd think that this move is not good because knight takes e5. But after queen e7, we don't have queen e2 and we have to play f4. That's actually not what we want here. So what we actually want to do, surprisingly, we actually want to take this knight. This is the method to the madness. So I'm going to take the knight. We'll see what we can do here. I think queen e2 check, queen e7, and we're going to play a very professional position here. Very professional. I'm even thinking about queen f3, but let's, let's go pure professional here. Queen e2 check, thank you very much. Queen e7, okay. Now, remember, we're waiting for him to take us. The never before seen pawn to a4. Really harnessing the deep ideas of this opening. We workshopped this with none other than young Anthony. Now, coming up with the best of the best a5. You might be thinking to yourself, what the heck is going on here? I don't understand, you might be thinking. Let's first give a check. Okay, just two 400s battling it out here. Okay, he's going here. I honestly am thinking about going back. Let's take. We want to push our uh, pawn up to a6 as well. Our king is actually surprisingly happy. On the beautiful D1 square. My goodness. You've never seen a 400 so dead lost. Right? It's just amazing. Just look at this game here. This 400 never stood a chance. Down a pawn on move 17. It's incredible, really. Where do we want this rook? Let's put it here for now. Okay, I'm bringing the, uh, bringing the pieces over. Super professional game here, you'll notice. Wow, and, and a massive opening advantage. After rook to e3, <laughs> game's pretty much done here. Bishop e5, okay, there's some threats here. Let's get out of the way of that. c5, we'll make sure to take uh, en passant there, and after the move d4, we really just thrust forward and cement that easy, easy win against the 400 in crushing fashion. Start to finish, uh, well, it looked pretty hopeless. That's what this opening is all about. Early, sizable advantages that you can measure. There we go. Nice uh, 24 move miniature here. Your opponents will not be familiar with this opening, I promise you. I mean, the silence is loud here. Hmm. 
to b3 and just fix that pawn on a dark square. Just got to defend that pawn. Fighting tooth and nail for this result here. Advancing the pawns on the light squares, which means my next move will not be b6. It'll be c6. And then b6. And then b7. You see how the bishop defends the other color while these ones go on light squares? That's what it's all about, folks. Will he be going here? I'm going all the way. GG. We got him. A 48 move win. Opponent never stood a chance. And let me tell you, let me bring it back to where it all fell apart for the opponent. Right here. Boom. Knight d5. <laughs> I mean, after knight d4, the poor guy, he didn't realize that this position was just that uncomfortable. Boom. A4. Tough. Tough already. Hard to even recommend a move for him. What's the accuracy? <laughs> I mean, it's a great question, but you won't be surprised by the answer. Casual 91%. <laughs> Without even trying. Without even trying. Something that you guys can easily replicate. Let's continue. That was a, a 400 that, you know, we were able to get the best of in 48 moves. So you can see that the new openings, I mean, we're off to such a good start here. We're getting some really good instruction and some beautiful model games that you guys can use. All right, e4, let's play our openings with the black pieces. We're here with e5, now knight c3. Let's think for a sec, because I think we know that dirty Vienna Gambit players need to be punished, but at the same time, we also want to stay within the realm of our openings. Now, of course, knight here... Knight here. This is more what I'd be thinking. But the desire to beat the dirty Vienna players is too strong. Knight here. Oh, perfect. Perfect. D4. Okay. We got transpositionized by the 300. I have a feeling he knows the speed run. That's the only explanation. Okay, let's go bishop d6. Somehow, he avoided all of our preparation. He's the goat of the 300. He's the 400 elo gatekeeper is what he is. 396, he just hovers around there. Nobody gets to 400 without going through airdrop thingy be sure of that you can be sure of that right here okay let's go here just to see what's about to happen okay i mean you've got me tempted i can't lie but we're dealing with a gatekeeper here let's castle yeah that's that's going to be a much better version of the exact same thing that I was going to play. Now I'm already castle. I traded castling for f4. Huge win for me. I mean, this is fantastic. Queen h4. 
we are pretty familiar with this uh, tactical theme. I think we can appreciate that he's probably about to take this knight, though. And as such, the best move presents itself in the form of c5. Sometimes you gotta play the man. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's activate the rest of our pieces here. Let's just get a quick uh, bishop d3, bishop g4. Okay, here we go. It's actually gonna be fantastic. It's gonna open things up for me. That's what I'm looking for. But I'm realizing if king d2... I think d4 locks it up, and this one's going to be even quicker. Even though we didn't get a real opportunity to play our opening here, we still managed to take out the 400 elo gatekeeper in style. This was clever. From now on, if we're really trying to be professional, we might have to play this. Because remember, after this, boom, we're right back into our tried and tested stuff. However, after f4, might have to deal with these sweaty Vienna players. But that's fine. We'll deal with them one at a time. We'll deal with them one at a time. Thanks, Venus Chess. Giftness up to Crumbs88. All right, let's jump back in. Okay. E5, you guys know the drill here. Queen F3, hold on a second. Queen F3. Okay. I'll fall for it. All right. We've got our knights out. It's got C3 in there. Are we going to see 92? This guy's a professional player. Hmm. Very interesting. I mean, everybody wants to play it. The fans are clamoring, sure. He's stopping knight d4, but he's not exactly threatening something. I'm kind of expecting g4. This is right around the moment where I think uh, the players start to lose a bit of patience. But c3 is a very measured move by white. So that's indicating to me he's capable of a good move here. But I'm wondering if he'll be reset to factory settings here with g4, g5. So let's wait and see. Okay. This is actually still a, a good move. It looks like it might be preparing g4, so still unclear. But if, if not, if no g4, we can only sit here and credit h3. Like, truly. D3. Okay, no. We're th this is a professional player. This guy plays the circuit. There's no way. Incredible stuff. From the 418. 418. Say that again slowly. Like, what? It's amazing, really. Green G3. Remarkable. I want to play knight g6, but I'm, I'm just sitting here stunned, impressed even. Okay. This one's available, but I think more importantly, this one is available. And finally, we've gotten lucky. 
Oh my goodness, the guy doesn't care. Straight in with knight f3. We know it's going to be knight takes e5, don't we? Right, I'm going to take all the pieces, all the things. This looks pretty good, but I, I do feel uh, opening up the f-file is where it's at right now. Hmm. This kind of gives up a, a lot of material, but <laughs> I guess they're still going to play it. Wow. Okay, queen e5. Just take because it's uh, with check. This one should be quite difficult to deal with. Of course, we have a few options here. Somehow, a bishop here looks a little bit more satisfying. I mean, uh, when presented with the option, I think we always uh, want to go for stuff like that. So, maybe this. And then we can get a bishop checkmate. It's about as, uh, about as nice as we can manage here. So, I have to say the one thing we didn't, we failed in our preparation, was we failed to prepare for the abundance of early queen out and bishop c4, which we are going to see. Thankfully, we've already prepared for this. We've done many a speed run. We've dealt with this many a time. Not concerned. Not concerned. Okay. Picker, thanks for the three-year resub. We will be handling this in very standard fashion. Let's go to the next game. Okay, we get the white pieces, but we've yet to see... Ah, there it is. Queen f6. I feel like we've seen this before. Okay, knight c3. Now, here's the remarkable thing. After knight d5, the queen just has to retreat. Like, what's going on here? Okay, queen back. And then if you'll notice, we have our Pegasus plunge opening with extra moves. I'm in cruise control here. <laughs> we just have a full extra move in the Pegasus plunge variation. Great stuff. I kind of like this one. I kind of like this one. Knight takes here. Of course, we can take like that. But I'm also interested in this move. Because if queen e7, I think we can castle. So we can grab the knight, d6, castle. We could leave the knight. It was knight f5. Um, I mean... Yeah, I'm tempted by it, but uh, don't think it works there very technically. Knight takes, queen takes, and bishop takes. Sad for me. Castling is just very reliable here, though. Takes, d6. Queen here. Not seeing it work like <laughs> entirely. It looks pretty good, but not seeing 
I'm eight. Do we go here and here? Hmm. Also, this, I have to deal with Queen E7 a bit. I'll castle. Sucks. Sucks. We had such a nice, uh, a nice situation there. Oof. I mean, I guess I'll go here. Could be better. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I respect it. <laughs> not gonna lie, I respect castling. He's proving to us that he knows you can castle when the rook is attacked. And like I gotta I gotta hand some credit over to you. I really do. There's no way you're going back. No way you're letting me cycle you like that. So maybe bishop here is the is this the prescription? A remarkable move, c6, huh? Oh, very professional game there. GG. The way I see it, we're getting our standard opening with an extra move. That's how strong the Pegasus plunge is, really. The knight into d5, they don't realize I'm ready to do this move anyway when your knight is there. You put a queen there, I'm laughing to the bank here. I think that's why the opening is so good because, dude, I'll play it no matter what. Against all these queen f6 openings, it just feels like an opening on steroids. So I'll take it. We'll have an easier time punishing these queen f6, bishop c5 kind of ideas with black because with white, we just put the knight on d5. When we have the black pieces, it's a little bit harder, but... We'll go for the same ideas. E4, pretty rare. I have to say, at 400 ELO, pretty rare. So rare that he could never have expected E5. Can't blame him. Now, is it possible to somehow get the same opening? I have a feeling that won't happen, but... I want to go back into familiar territory here. Most likely variation would probably be this, if I had to guess. Check this and this. He's really having to think here. It's a tough moment, I can't lie. Hey, credit to him. Now after this, I think this looks a little bit weird. This looks normal. So I feel like he'll play the normal move. Like, this is a little bit advanced, no? It's a shame. He's almost too good for his own good. If he was a worse player, I feel like he would just move the knight. But he's getting ideas here with bishop c3. It's a real shame. Knight d2. Oh, no. It, it all falls down now. We still have the opportunity to take and transpose into the main line. No, we have to punish mistakes like that. Hey, I don't get bishop c3 played against me almost at all. I'm enjoying this. Like, this is a privilege right here. 
We're up a piece. Opponent should get castled. Okay, a3 stopping knight b4. Respect. If knight d4, rook c1. And I'm not sure if we have uh, other moves to do there. Hmm. I'll just take here. I'll develop and I'll castle. Boring. Do people get their rating back if they lose during a speed run? Yes, they do. You know what else happens during a speed run? Sometimes I get some rating back as well. It's not a one way street here. Rook d1. Okay, we've got two extra pieces, and they are knights. Just let me do it to you. The triple fork. Damn it, he's too good for that. Well, this looks like a move, all right. Might not be the best one. I think we know the possibilities here of knight e2 check are very serious. Okay, pro tip for everybody. If there was just a piece on a square... And it moves. That square is not safe. Ever. If you move from a square, you are always defending that square. That's how it works. Always. No matter what. Unless it's a pawn. That's why I said a piece. You guys are catching up slowly but surely. You'll get there. Rooks to the middle. Oh, let's make a nice habitual move for all the chess professionals out there. Boom. Cutting the king off. So professional. Irish pawns. And we'll give him the Irish goodbye. GG. Yes, we will be playing the England gambit here. Uh, D4, E5. And in fact, with the white pieces after E4, D5, we'll be playing A3 and transposing to this. So this is a key part of our entire repertoire here. You have to know this opening. You must. E4, E5, knight, F3, queen, F6? Question mark? All right, I'm going with the... I'm going with the knights here. Remember, bishop c5 is not really an option. We have a nice knight e5 move. Okay. Bishop c4 and knight d5 are still going to happen here. If knight f6, we can kind of transpose back to uh, the old plunge here with knight d5. But I'm going to start with d4 and then play knight d5. But we're still plunging here, folks. We're still plunging. I'm foregoing better moves in order to maintain the plunge for you guys to showcase the opening right with moves like knight g5 available 
Mon Hamilton stayed true and played d4 anyway. Bishop g4. All right, all right. Hmm. Really getting me thinking here. Takes on e5, knight takes e5. We don't really have a good move there, unfortunately. I wish we did. We just have okay moves. <laughs> Our decision to keep plunging has backfired. I mean... Now we just have a, an average position. This is the last time I'm nice. I'm learning my lesson early. People are going to play bad moves against our openings. We're going to have to punish them. Mandatory. Okay, it takes this way. A little bit surprising. We should probably take this. We can castle as well, but I'll grab it. Yeah, unfortunately, legal's mate never really happens with a knight on f6. That's, that's the sad reality. Here, takes in here. Probably got to play move like bishop b5 here. I mean, these double pawns are not as bad as those ones. Yep, no, this was uh, a learning experience. I'm glad it happened early on in the series. Right? If, if knight f6 is happening, just take the win with knight g5. Tried to stick to the script. And I now know why that was an erroneous decision. The 439 mind gamed us. Although tempting. Not that tempting. I don't think I'm really in the night takes C6 business. F3, knight D3, castle. Hmm. Okay, you're making a, making a strong case for knight takes C6 now though. Now I'm forced to find the moves. Still think uh, there are some attempts here. Maybe king d7, knight a7. A nice little clearance move there. Knight takes c6 with tempo in order to clear the way for pawn to e5. Bishop c5. Uh, I guess we got to grab the material there. I want to be a little careful about this knight. I guess we have uh, some squares in the meantime. Oh, man. Oh, man. No. Jeez, that's a nasty mate. Every piece, like... Oh, oh. Filthy. Real nasty stuff there. All the pieces coordinating to perfection. Every square covered by my pieces is complemented perfectly by every other square covered by his pieces. We team up to cover all of these squares together. <laughs> all right, we got to push the button. We got to do it.
had to happen. It was nice enough. What can we say? From now on, those who try to avoid the Pegasus plunge will suffer at the hands of Knight G5. Because remember, Knight G5 is the fried liver, but just with an extra piece out. So, it's a fried liver on steroids. Thanks, Alexander E, for the tier 3, 35 months. Uh, Pennywise, thanks for the prime, 18 month resub. Paul JB, 21 months, tier 3. Hey, Ralph Wiggum, big Ralph, prime, 49, on to year 5. Thank you, Ralph. Thank you kindly. All right. Back to basics. E4, E5, knight F3. Here come the two knights. Remember, bishop C5, pretty normal move here. Um, and knight takes E5, always possible. Bishop B4, always encouraged. Because our Pegasus plunge has a little extra spice to it now. We have C3 and D4 coming to hit the bishop. We want to do this, but I think I'll hold off for the moment. Just so he doesn't know that it's coming. Because we always have this with tempo. But for example, <laughs> whoa, B5. All right, you got me. You got me. I've got to take. Bishop A6. All right. I suppose we're taking this one as well. Erwin does not want my light square bishop to thrive. All right, Erwin. Fine, dude. We go for this one. Will Erwin notice the rook? Honestly? It's pretty far away, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty far away. I don't rate Erwin's chances very high. Another successful plunge. Knight f6. We have a few options of things we can take here. Takes, pawn takes seems to be the uh, seems to be the move. Wonder what a nice option would be here. I'll start with c3 and see how it gets reacted to because maybe we can take with a d pawn and kind of try to develop our pieces quicker. I am going to do this. We'll probably see castling here. H6 instead. Okay, I'm liking the position here. I'm liking it. I'm swinging my knight around. The knight on f5 is going to say hello. The queen is swinging around. I'm swinging everything. The knight and queen are just going to reposition to deliver mate. You think I'm here playing defense, but I'm not. I'm up to something. I'm up to something that he's actually preventing accidentally. He didn't mean to prevent it, but he's preventing it. What a defense from this guy. Rook to e5. Man. 
can't say uh, a bad thing about it. Maybe we start with f4 to encourage rook back. I feel like we're only going to get this. Okay, rook c5. Damn. Not predicting any of the moves here. I think he's outsmarted us. I think he's outsmarted us. Okay, that's the stuff I like to see. Still, queen g4, bishop g5. But this is more what I'm keen on. There we go. We were going for mate, but it was never quite mate because the king could run and the bishop could come back. Now we've got it. Let's go. Okay, we finally got the mate that we were going for, but I have to say it wasn't in the best way possible. He defended pretty well, whether he meant to or not. So I'm loving this two knights, and just knight into d5 quickly. Whether the knight goes out, if the bishop goes here, knight takes e5 is kind of a, a known position. That's supposed to be kind of good. Bishop, G, uh, bishop b4 just helps us out even more. I always wanted to put the knight on d5, so this is just great. Hello, AG. Hello, Anthony. Good to see you here, sir. I had a game in uh, your variation, Anthony, with A4, A5 against the 400. We were able to crush him in 48 moves. So, that was a good look for that opening line. J Lids, thanks for the 22 month resub. A Defile. Yep, this is a new opening. Playing the two knights with knight d5. That's, uh, that's fresh, man. That's fresh. Okay, here we go. C4, so rare. So rare. At 470. All right. I'm going here. I think... This is the only way. Here comes the bishop. Maybe we can do the Pegasus plunge, but... With an extra c4 move played. Okay, knight here. I mean, you're kind of asking for... Knight g4, so I'll play it. I'm not sure what what goes on here. Okay. Knight takes knight takes f2, queen f6. Like, is this the same? This is the fried liver, but with a pawn there, right? So I'm thinking. Does that difference matter? It might even be worse for white, because there's no pawn c3 now. Bishop takes, queen takes. I mean, let's take with the bishop. Maybe he'll plunge. Yeah. <laughs> I had a feeling he was going to be tempted. He thought he was going to plunge, but uh, well, we showed up on f2. Oops. That was... Uh... This is good, I think. Uh, this is just nice for black. Yeah, if you're going to play c4, I mean, definitely, basically, he's playing e4 in the end, an e4 opening with a random c4 move. If you're going to play c4, you got to stick to those systems, those structures. You can't play c4 and then just play all other moves as if it's a normal e4 opening. <laughs> That's not good enough. Okay, a nice quick win. The heck is this? What are these 400s? I thought everybody plays e4. Hmm. Okay, I'll take the center. I'll fall for it, as we like to say.
Okay. Time for e4, just because the knight seemingly has to go back there. Here I am thinking that might be annoying. We'll have to deal with this move, which means our next three moves probably have to support the center where possible. Here, d3. Yeah, I think h5, h4, very quickly. When I say very quickly, I mean very quickly. Even at the cost of bishop g5. Oh, wow. Okay, bishop g5, might even go queen d7. Uh, happy to give the double pawns to castle, bring a rook here and go all in. Whoa, okay, he's four steps ahead of me. He's attacking me before I've even castled. He's in my head. He knew I was going to castle this way. Jeez, I'm getting outplayed right now. One step ahead of me at all times. Okay. Of course, taking is an option, but I think we're going to retreat here and keep bishop takes g3 options alive. Knight g4 looks like a, a strong move next. I think we want to do this. Uh, knight a5 if c4. This is what I think I'm going to do. Uh, Chip G3 is looking very, uh, very tempting. No matter what you do, Queen H2 is going to be made, right? Uh, whether it was Knight, King H1, Bishop G2, it doesn't matter. Queen H2 is always going to be made there. GG. And, uh, I mean... G3, C4. I'm not used to these openings from 400s, but okay, I'm I'm learning in culture. I'm getting cultured here. Onwards. E4, E5, Knight F3, D6. Okay, let's not get dissuaded here. We're sticking with our uh, with our moves. Knight there. I mean, we could jump in straight away with the knight, but it's less good when there's no knight on c6. So I kind of want to see a move like that. Oh, g6. No, no, no. Hang on. No, no. You don't have time for that, sir. You definitely don't have time for that. Now, if we take this way... Queen moves, then we have the great option to play knight to d5. So tempting. You just can't refuse it. You can't refuse these options. Yes, yes. Take my knight. Do it. A forced win. Knight c6. I'll have to drop back. Bishop g7, also a decent move. Let's attack this. Rook d8, maybe. We also have queen c4. I want to maybe long castle, rook e1, everything to the center. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go here because I don't want him to go like knight c6. I don't want him to run away with the king into the corner. I want that king to stay in the center of the board. Let's go here. E5 is going to open things up entirely. Rook E1. Those types of moves.
Knight c6, I can only imagine. Um, it looks like a very good move. Let's continue to develop everything to the center. Here, knight takes, bishop takes, rook takes, queen. Oops. Can't really, uh, can't really be doing that. I think what I'm going to do is hang over. I don't like this, and I don't like this. This bothers me, but when the knight moves somewhere, I'm just going to move my queen anyway, so it doesn't seem like a big deal. This pawn is being hit. Um, we can take it, yeah. We have this, and we have this. So many, many a pawn to capture here. Here, 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 here. Looks like a pretty nice checkmate. Check to the miserable king. Rook here, queen c7. A pretty uh, good attempt there by, by Black, though. This will be a check, and this will be a check mate. GG. Let it be known. You can't avoid this opening. Don't try to avoid the Pegasus plunge. You're only going to hurt yourself. Just let it happen. Knight d5. Don't even think about it. Just let it happen. The two knights. The knight jumping in. Stop trying to avoid it. Knight d5 is happening whether you like it or not. Good morning, Chest Ninja. Fractal Dust here for our session. Jingo. Good morning, Sphinxy. Tim. We will be at... Issuing good mornings as the stream uh, did start in the AM. Hey, JT Foxy. Yeah, we're here for the Europeans. Indeed. Like this, Mr. Keen? You do it because it makes a backward K. What's backwards K? <laughs> Sort of. Okay, got it. Yeah. Yeah, I sort of see it. Let's hit uh, the big five hundo. We need a couple wins here, though. Thanks, Sphinxy. Giving us up to Jingo. E4. Ah, but we have the greatest opening available. It works so well in general. Just imagine. Just imagine. Bishop here. Figured this was extremely likely. If they take, we can just take back, but you know, color me impressed that he's not capturing this already. Bishop f4 coming now. Hmm. It's hitting your queen. 
And of course, uh, bishop e3, we're going to blunder our bishop. Did you forget about this tactic? No, it's still there. It's still there. Okay. You know, credit to this guy. He's really not making uh, further mistakes. All right, queen d6. Is there any way that we can get this tactic to work? I'm living for this tactic now. Impressive from the guy. No, I don't think so. C6 somehow feels, uh, feels likely. Hmm. Looking pretty tempting. Especially because castle kind of invites some other stuff here. It's kind of an annoying pawn to defend. F6 can certainly be played. Yeah, so we do see C6. It opens up knight B6, which I think is a really... Uh, Really good move. But there are some other threats which come to mind, namely this one. Because we're going to be uncovering a check, which also, it's like a double discovery on the queen and on the king. Oh, what did I say? I said we wanted to get this to work. I'm so happy we did. <laughs> At long last. Hooray! <laughs> we did it. Maybe this check first. I mean, this wins all the material, but it does not get the checkmate. Maybe we can go for the checkmate. I'll take with the knight. Knight here, queen f5, and um, I'm still hunting that mate. That move does not stop the mate. In fact, it only creates it. GG. The nice thing about our two knights opening is it really counters this nonsense really well. Obviously, when you start the game like this, nobody can play queen h4 anymore. But you're still going to get a huge amount of people who want to, like, scholars mate you. Even though it's just not possible with the knight there. So I don't know what they're thinking. But still, they'll play this. Boom. Immediately knight d5. And, I mean, this is just trouble. They need to go back. But nobody wants to go back. Hardly anyone does. They feel the need to keep the queen out here active, and it's like, no, it doesn't work, though. Queen d6, d4, and bishop f4. Queen c6, bishop b5, and if queen d6, then d4 again. Queen b6 hangs the queen, queen a6 hangs the queen, queen e6 hangs the queen, queen g6 and queen h6 hang the rook. There's just no good option. So people are stubborn not to play queen d8, but then they just lose. By force! Okay, knight f3. Okay, the other knight's coming out here. f5. Okay. Uh, Prague enjoyer. I think at this point, honestly tempted by just bishop c4. I feel like this could uh, 
taking over this diagonal could be kind of nice. We'll see. We'll see. Knight g5 looks ultra tempting. Like, I feel like I'm doing the fried liver without winning the f7 pawn, if that makes sense. <laughs> There's also d4 to open things up, but let's, uh, let's try this. Try to punish the move f5 early. C6. I mean, yeah, really not a not a terrible move. Quite honest. Because our knight's gonna get trapped in here, so it's not uh, it's not like the game's just over or anything. I mean, he was pretty dead there regardless. Knight f7 was impossible to stop. Uh, and we're, oh, if black took here and played d5, we would be losing, you know, quite a few pawns. Hmm. Well, we don't quite win anything with this, but we... You could say maybe we win a tempo. That's always good. A piece was attacked anyway. I'd, I'd like to have the move. Um, still, a very strong center is always tough to deal with. I'm going to go d4. I want my pieces out as quickly as possible. And there's some type of pin energy here, so... Not that easy for him to take that comfortably. If he took this way, it would really ruin his center. So I kind of agree with his move there. Let's make another little threat. Yeah, I'm going to take... Looks weird, but... Uh, no matter what he takes back with, we can take on f6. Either the d-pawn will hang, or queen h5 check will happen. One or both of the above seems pretty good. I'm actually going to go here. g6, we have queen takes h7. And king e7, which somehow seems possible, runs into this. King d8 runs into knight f7, and our knight escapes. should be six b7 hangs but so does this and it trades the queens and it wins a pawn and it's with check and i like all those things can't say no we have an extra rook here let's not forget that's a good move it's not going to, uh, not going to keep my knight trapped forever, though. I mean, of course, it wasn't trapped, but trying to take that last final square away from it. Bishop c6, we could trade that off. Knight b6 is a threat right now to trade it off. c4 has this idea, but also knight, knight b6. King c7 would be fantastic because then we could fork the other uh, piece as well when he takes on d4. He's just getting forked left, right, and center here. And then when the king thinks about taking that, we win this bishop as well. Very nice. Yeah, king c7. Ah, thanks for the help there, bud. On our way to 500. Big 500 achievement here. I know. I know. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. We're getting some good practice, some good legwork in with our two knights Pegasus plunge variation. The whole point is just Thrusting the knight into d5 immediately. You'd be surprised, but this doesn't get played, ever. This isn't an opening.
I'm bringing it to the forefront of theory for you guys. Edwig, thanks for the 10 month reset. No more name 79. We're getting close to the, uh, the months finally matching the username. 78 month resub from no more names 79. Well, after knight f3, what move usually gets played, Ren? Knight c6, right? In a huge majority of games. So, of course, no pawn can challenge it because the knight is on that square. Kakuler. Oh, man, we'd love to have you. It's a rest day today at the candidates, but... Fan zone is ongoing. Weekend fan zoners are trickling into Toronto today. What's the opening called I'm playing right now? The Pegasus Plunge, also known as the Trojan Horse Variation. But we came up with it. We workshopped it here on stream. Clock frozen? Well, we're not in a game right now, so yes. <laughs> so yes. Good morning to Gory Hole as well. Oh, Gory. Hey, Aiden. I really enjoyed your uh, Bellissimo game, sir. I was a little bit surprised by D takes E4. I thought you handled it well. Am I drinking coffee? I had coffee already. My coffee mug, but no, when I'm drinking from that bottle, that's water. I've already had my coffee. We're at 500. I think I'm going to continue. But someone mentioned coffee, so okay, time for a refill. I'll be back in a few minutes. Trying to entertain us on the rest day here. Candidate has been fun so far. If anyone's coming to the fan zone, I'm excited to meet you. Take a short break and come back to our new speed run featuring all brand new openings that I hope you guys feel comfortable trying out yourselves. Back in a few.
All right. We're back. I I decided to make another coffee, uh, you know, for the crowd. Someone was asking about it. I made it a reality. Hey, you got afternoon there, Mattis. Maori Lizard. Cheers again for the year. New sub badge and everything. Jake Cohn, 32 months. Welcome back. All right, new coffee poured. Let's see if we can get some of our other openings in here. I think it's going to be the two nights for a while. Because, I mean, of course, after E4, everyone's playing E5, right? Zcord, uh, thanks very much for saying so. I appreciated them as well, Chess Ninja. If I wanted to watch someone struggle for two hours, I'd ask Hikaru to get some for me from a high shelf. Kami is uh, regaining his form. Alrighty. Hey, free fly skydiver. How are you, bud? Okay. E4, E5, bishop C4. Got a thing here. I think we go with this one. I'm definitely expecting a queen. Uh, but if the knight goes here, then we're ready with this one. Okay, so I think we go with the knight now. Queen here, d5, and then knight there. Okay. We'll go with the knight here. These are... Uh, our openings with black usually revolve around like a knight getting to g6 and a queen going to f6. So, queen here, <laughs> extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> knight here and knight d4 might actually be playable, but definitely a little bit strange. And queen here and queen here suck because of this. So, I mean, we didn't really have another move other than knight there, so... I guess we'll play this and knight <laughs> d4, like kind of insane. I don't really know what else uh, to do, so maybe we can get away with it. Queen e3, knight c2, queen h5. Damn, I mean, buddy, I thought this was the little leagues here. Quit this. All right, queen e7, knight c2 needed. Fortunately, after knight g6, we don't really have anything. I had a f6, but not really part of our uh, 
repertoire here. Yeah, I think we probably have to uh, have to take. I think this knight d5 is playable but very suspicious. And this one, bishop b5, kind of looks wrong. I think we have to concede. I'll go for this. Hey, perfect time for this resub. Seems right. Resub for three months with Prime. Yeah, seems right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't seem right at all. Uh. Hmm. All right, G6. G6 seems right. Right? <laughs> G6 doesn't seem right at all. Got to take. Um, there's no way we're defending everything, so at this point we're just kind of forced into uh, knight c2 and just kind of like praying for the uh for the best i have to defend this pawn uh b3 wow it's actually a crazy move holy all right i'm gonna go b5 kind of trying to play uh c6 kind of hard to say here b3 i mean when do you see a 500 that just has the, the control to go from H8 to A1? I'm impressed. E5. Okay, what's going on here? Maybe do we keep defending that? Keep this. At least now the knight's not attacked. I know it's not... <laughs> We're kind of uh, excited about nothing here, but... I gotta take my small victories. Wow. Bishop takes, rookie one. Incredible. <laughs> Bishop takes rookie one. Wow. Okay. Truly something. Okay, we want to take this now. Knight takes would be friendly. He doesn't look friendly, though. Never had a... Uh, never had a tougher game. Like, this guy's real special. This guy's the strongest 500 on the website. He's the strongest 500 on the website. Holy smokes, what kind of game was that? <laughs> Jesus! We, I want to say we barely survived, but let's be real. We didn't survive. That did not feel like a game we survived. Just getting... Absolutely cooked here. Knight f3. 
I had F3. Man, I'm <laughs> Started falling apart after that, but this was this was sweaty. So the annoying thing, of course, is like when it comes to move orders, I'm only really preparing for the most likely. And the most likely, of course, are the knights coming out. At least knight f3. But I'm dealing with people who are going like queen f3, bishop c4. So knight e7, knight g6 is really not the way to play against that. So in my effort to stick to our systems, which is knight e7, knight g6, I'm kind of getting uh, in a bit of trouble here. And of course I can play f6, not get mated, but it's just not really the move I want to play. I kind of want to play my queen there. So... Not the best. Not the best. This guy was super strong, though. Uh, much stronger than, than 500, I can say that. We survived in one way or another. I don't feel like I'm all in one piece right now, but we kept our rating going in the upwards direction. Spudge, thanks for the 28 months. Tier 3. Is that a tier three? Just, that was Spudge. That Spudge. was a local tier three as well. Thank you uh, for the tier three. Thank you, Spudge. Thank you, Spudge. Abogado de Patentes. Thanks for the 33 month resub. Abogado. Yes, oh. a Canadian tier three. Yep, I just made one as well. Uh, five is... is everyone we'll coming out at once? Uh, <laughs> okay. Reminds me of when we were in uh, Turkey and uh, Elias caused a few of the zombies to all appear at once with his antics. Daku Waka. Happy to hear it. Uh, Jeff was like, yeah, I would go to some, I, I want to go to Egypt, but I would never go with Elias. Why? He was like, well, he's probably going to piss on yes. the, the temple. Man. Yes, <laughs> sacred land. Land acknowledgement. Oh, Oof. Tim is alive, eh? <laughs> he is. Tim is alive. Does he have reason not to be? It was not an early night. I put on a movie called Barbarian. It's a pretty good horror movie, I think. Like, for, uh, for, for a certain style. Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah, it was just... Aryan didn't make it, Jeff didn't make it. <laughs> Look at this specimen. <laughs> Look at this specimen. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Coffee too? Yeah, I'll have one. I just have one downstairs, but I can have another. No, but this is an upstairs coffee. Yeah, it is different. It's a different floor, different altitude. Right. <laughs> the beans are roasted. Yes, Ralph. Yes. <laughs> Did you forget about this? Oh no, I was wondering where it was downstairs. This is, like, I was asleep. This is like the Tomb Raider. Like. Hello. Hello, Jeff. Yeah, it's actually impressive how cold it is coming out of the room. But, but I haven't been in my room. It's ice cold in there. It's really impressive. Aryan's there, right? I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I haven't been in there. I was asking you. Like, you snuck in that night. <laughs> Sneak. <laughs> Sneaking people in with ropes. <laughs> I'll get this oh. Aryan fucker. He'll <laughs> <laughs> in the morning. Here you go. Nice t-shirt, Eric. Yeah, I wore to the fans one. How's the week been? How's the month been? Oh, I guess. it's been uh, it's been tough. Need some uh, air Where, support. Where'd your uh, where'd your voice go? I just got up. I just like stood up. My voice. You this stand is... up and it affects your voice. No, but I have the morning voice. We should strap Eric in the chair. You get can him put to me in the chair and I can call out a yeah, few of the, the subs like Land Beyond or Rub uh, 
Did you lose? Uh, oh. Hello, Gory. Hey. Well, I'm already hove. Hello, Arin. Hello, why, Eric. Why is your room so cold? Hmm? I didn't touch the door. It just opened up by its. Did someone sneak in? <laughs> yeah, that, that's <laughs> like you know, like, like that's what. We're someone waiting. jumped in the house. <laughs> you know who sneaked in? Arian, <laughs> why would I know who sneaked in? Okay, it was a test. Okay, it was a test on uh, the security. I was gonna say, but maybe I shouldn't say on the stream. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> he's a funny guy. You're a funny guy, Arian. Some, somebody you know, Eric. Hello, somebody Spencer. Know. Somebody you know sneaked in. What, did you know them as well? Yeah. I heard Tier three works, from works, Spence. Works, works with us. Thanks a lot there, Zon Jones. 39 months. Spudge with five gifted. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, oh, one, for, one for each boy. Woo! One for each boy. Thanks, Spudge. That covers the uh, taxes. There were actually six people in the house, no? Oh, there's more. But we, need, we haven't... If there's, there's no appearance, there's no sub, you yeah. know? That's fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Sorry, man, I did not... Like, I just came here for a coffee. To call out Spudge. I, mean, I think everyone else had the exact same idea to, yeah, to call out Spudge and come for uh, coffee. Coming by soon. I'm down to sneak in gym, so Spudge, you know you Dill's have, in actually, the house, right? Just, That's. I, okay. I mean, you know that, Spudge. Dill's been present yeah, for some gym classes. Uh, I was on a roll when I woke up. Depends if you need more verification or not. Because I turned around and I saw you were sleeping. But we were there. But then I woke up. But we were there. Thanks, Land Beyond, for that 33 night. again. Oh, I didn't know you guys were drinking last night. Hey, is Ian going to stay? Did he figure his yeah. life out? Yeah. Nice. You got to get sorted for baseball. Okay, I have no idea what's going on. That's where everyone's going. I will going. just... America's game. It is America's game. <laughs> Thank you. We're Finally, some brand. respect oh. around here for the forgotten countries of the yeah. world, the United States of America. Mm. Oh, Eric's in chat. What? Oh. <laughs> no, I just need another one. You know, chat here, Eric. Dude, it looks like you were just an Asian doing really bad karaoke for a second. <laughs> I'm, I'm, over, I'm, just over, I'm just hunched over there, just like... <laughs> doing puzzles. <laughs> thought we weren't supposed to do that. Oh, yeah, exactly. I said, no, I said <laughs> after all the broadcast had ended, it's okay. Oh, oh we were after. This we were actually taking revenge. This was way, this was way past. Yesterday, so we, we popped up just a trunk. Oh, then I like it. It was revenge time. <laughs> Thanks, Spudge. That's, uh, yeah, 300 total subs from Spudge. That's for Dill. So there you go. One, one for each lad. 300? Oh, I have to shower. Thanks a lot, Spudge. Oh, what are the Spudge fan zone dates? You're being uh, recognized by rates? your forearm, I, I guess. Yeah, yeah, Orangi recognizable from his forearm. Impressive, cuz, impressive. <laughs> Proud of cuz there. He should know that, right? Well, it's like when a child figures out how to recognize, you know, that looks like a cow, that's a chicken, and you got to encourage that kind of behavior. Developmentally stunted. But young, you know, young children as well, they, when they're walking with their parents, it's like they learn to identify them by their forearms. That's usually what they grab yeah. onto. See, Tommy, that's a bear. See, very astute, a Tommy. Tommy knows. He's Tommy been knows. studying Bears, the creatures of the chat for a while. Winks. He's seen your mouse cam from the CS streams. So he's very familiar with that, that yeah. forearm. <laughs> and little bird wrists. I need a shower. Fix my life. I feel like everyone woke up with the same idea. Shower? And fix their life. If only it was that easy, Amon. If only. Let's start. If Dania ever comes over, Dania Zcord hasn't been to the house here, but we've had Dania over for a chess brawl party at TwitchCon before. It was a little closer to uh, where he was living at the time. I think that was. I mean, I had maybe met. Danny before at tournaments, 
that I hadn't spoken like too too much. This was a while back. But when he showed up, one of the first things he said was Hi son. Which sounds surprising until you realize he was referring to the fact that he had adopted. So that was the one of the first interactions. He said hi son. Huh? He has too many sons. Not at this point. <laughs> sons. Oh, I get sons. it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get it. Can you imagine? Hi, son. <laughs> Crazy. Two trillion IQ, no? <laughs> like if I just meet the subs, like Tim Cannon. Hi, son. Like Gory. Gory is like gets adopted like weekly. In bullet? Yeah. What can I say? He likes to play ten second chats. <laughs> can be very quick. A lot of people will take care of you at least. Hello, Dave. Do we have Dave dates? Is Dave a return uh, returning uh, fans owner? Trying to keep track of all the attendees. We did, uh, Yeki in 99. We did. R. Hudson, thanks for the 21 months. Welcome back, R. Hudson and Spudge. Thanks again for the 300, man. That's very kind of you. Over the years. Did we coin the name Gucci Reza? No, that was your friend Hickey. Something to consider, Milos. Oh, Ireland. Have you been before, Dave? That sounds like fun. That sounds like fun. Were you impressed with Gucci Reza? Yes, being right. able to win really, against the really, tournament leader? No, 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 I was really impressed. Also, Gukesh seems to be in great form here. Uh, Even so yesterday, he seemed to be in yeah, good form. So far, yeah, actually, that was the first game he lost. So it was purely cold in the room. Mm -hmm. uh, it looked like Gukesh didn't have any problems. And Alareza in her tilt as well. So managing to pull off a win there is... Very impressive. Yeah, especially after losing. They... Yeah. It happened in the time scramble, like when they both had... There's no increment. Yeah, okay. yeah, <laughs> frantically very, playing. It was a very nice trick there. Just couldn't pick the last one. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, maybe you can start a streak now. Eight in a row, no? Yeah, I mean, that's probably the only way for him to actually win <laughs> At least that would take like uh, six months, seven months. Yeah. Hello, Anthony. Hello, Nitsud Prime. But yeah, I don't like it for a tournament standings, though, because now Nepo is getting alone, and I, uh, I want another winner. Definitely want another winner. Your buddy Fabi is sniffing, though. Yeah, it's been too solid. Uh, yeah, I mean, he just has half point less. He just needs to win one game. He's sniffing. He's around. He's sniff, bro. There's a song request option. Why not a roast my game option? Would you like to add that, Dakuwaka? For the same price as a song request, you can submit a game and I will review it and roast you. It has T Kepler. I've I've enjoyed it. It's been good so far. Who's it? Chisno? Wondering about the fan zone. Who has dropped by the fan zone in the chat? Most people are kind of arriving today, so on the weekend we'll have more answers, but I know a few people have. 
Um, but yeah, the fan zone is always like just way more energetic on the on the weekends for sure. More people. Um, and I feel like the crowd has a more serious vibe during the the week. Tomorrow is gonna kind of peak. Saturday, I think so. Yeah, I feel like went mid midway through. And it's the last uh, Hikaru Fabi matchup. Yeah, I feel like tomorrow is going to be one of the best days for sure. Yeah, lots of opportunities for, like, not on a single day, but if you're there for, like, three days, you have a pretty good chance for, like, photos, autographs from, like, some of the players. I know a lot of people are interested in that. Did you get a haircut from mom? From Dill. Oh, fresh. Thank you. Yesterday? Yep. Exactly. Nice. Exactly. Who plays Hickey tomorrow? That's Buddy Fab. Indeed. Indeed. Getting it done before it gets too busy. <laughs> no, there'll be no time. Yeah, so. no chance anymore. <laughs> so yesterday's game between Nepo and Haru against Nepo was super exciting. Uh, it was. Yeah. And it suddenly ended in a draw, which is a big result for Nepo. Looks very scary at some point. Uh, Spudge, I'm a round two guy. Leafs in round two. I'll try to go. Mattis, we have a... Leafs are on a streak right now of making round two in the playoffs. <laughs> I don't want to hear none of that. We're on a... We're on a streak right now. We've... As of last year, we've made the round two of the playoffs every single time. Soon it will be a round three streak, you know, 50 years from now. Then a round four streak. You know, I might have to take a shower to fix my life too. There, that's where the magic happens, no? Yeah, so you can join. I think everyone's in the same shower, no? Yeah, that's, that's where you... So, suddenly your life is on the right path again. Indeed. A life-changing shower for me. I'll be, uh, I'll be back. Maybe you should consider it too. I already did. Um, I already changed my now life. That you're, you're probably the only one who has your... I cut life, my hair. ...life figured out. So yeah. I cut my hair. You know, like cut I instead hair. of just showering, I was like, no, I actually have to cut my hair no, off. But when you cut your hair, you're a new man. That's what it's I mean. Fresh, fresh start. So I already got my life together. Yeah, I'll start with a shower. Maybe I have to get a haircut too. M it might be forced. To, to match you, to be on your level. Might be forced, no? Forced. You mind pulling the door, Aryan? Yeah. Thanks, buddy. I don't know if you need anything. Okay, you thanks. Want, you want a coffee or something? No, I actually just uh, poured one, so I'm set. I appreciate it. What's that? Why are you gonna cook some HelloFresh? HelloFresh for you. Careful, uh, no, Aryan. Go your <laughs> Absolutely not. Some tuna for you. Absolutely not. Disgusting. Subway. <laughs> That's kind of understandable. Uh, casual because it's such a like interactive like obviously i'm saying hi but the sound travels so you just have to remember that it's a stream room so you always have to close the door like as soon as you enter close the door as, soon as you exit close the door but it is it's like an unusual thing to remember i don't blame anyone that forgets good morning essay writer thanks for the nine month reset buddy Uh, I haven't get this chala. You got any recommendations? Are they are they fresh? I can put one on. You got a good one? Bring the stream to the showers. Hmm. Not the first person to suggest that.
Let me see. Ultra. Who played? Calvin Harris, Martin Garrix. I don't know if I can handle this. Hardwell, I don't think I can handle it. Okay, Eric Prince. So... Can we trust Eric Prince? Finish my YouTube series, helped you get to 2K. Well, which one are you talking about, dude? I got a few. Might be going to Ultra next week. Ultra where, uh, Wild Hacks? Has the speedrun started? Yeah. We started at 400. Uh, Tivav Twitch, thanks for the events with Prime. Free Fly Skydiver, thanks for the five subs. Appreciate the five gifted. The Twitch Cinco. Can you see Wild Hacks at a rave, Mattis? Like, you know, just like comfortable rave bra? Take some getting into. Roast my game, please, Dakuwaka. I feel like I have to. Taylor R, thanks for the 49 months with Prime. Now, why didn't you send a real link to the game? Instead, I've got this weird... Like, I've got half of a link. Am I supposed to do this? Also, what is live? I haven't seen live for a while in a link. Okay, here we go. Are you white or black there, Dakuwaka? You're playing with the black pieces. For $15, you'd like me to roast your game. I see, I see. Wow, hello. There's a new... Uh... A new war boy here every time. I'm bringing people up. It's one sub per attendee. Is that right? Spudge, uh, just letting you know, bud. We got uh, another, another war boy up here. Let's go. One sub from Spudge. Hey, there thank we you, go. Spudge. Every new inductee to the stream can. One more sub from Spudge. I think we can make it big time from this uh, model. Enjoying the new uh, speed run while uh, getting some 
Chicken and waffles. Chicken and waffles. Yes. <laughs> Would that rent you forty five bucks? Uh, Welcome to Toronto. It was, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't <laughs> great, but uh, but we're. I you trust the, the, the calories for this evening. <laughs> There is a flock of boys in the house, indeed. Too many. Trying to shut them out before we start cooking. Eric, there's a, there's a new business model that um, has just been proposed. For the same price uh, as a song request, someone can submit a game and be roasted. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen that one before. I think your friend LaFong does that. He, does he roasts answers. them? Well... Maybe if it's a lies or something, it depends on the comment, I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you get it in Quebecois. A tabernacle. Might cost extra. But this one was no promise of analysis, only roasting. Like, getting to get roasted makes sense. That definitely is like... Ralph, don't worry, I'll find a way. He asked for it. He submitted a game that he won. We'll find a way here. Mm hmm indeed. That's right, Andrew MJ. $15, same as a song request, and a link to the game, of course. Is there a time limit on the roast thing? Probably about the same as a song, is what I would think. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, song could be anywhere from... Three to six minutes. Let's do it until your song request is over. <laughs> For thirty dollars, you can choose the soundtrack to the roasting. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Wow, a big discussion about Peruvian Jewish ladies from Wild Hacks and World Checkers Champ. Very, very interesting. Yeah, exclamation mark, donate, Andrew. Daku Waka is leading the way with our very first game here. And Milos, I'm just saying, it's possible. No promises there. So, Plastic Timer. What does that username mean there, Daku Waka? This could be... Yeah. Useful to know. This could play into the roast. So we had to take no energy? Plastic Spanish, bucket. Spanish place where I take over. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Plastic bucket. Oh, you're doing it? Yeah. Oh, can we, we have front row seats? Well, that's why I brought it up. He donated $15. And he said, roast my game. Oh, is Bazmaniac also uh, paying the Warboy tax? Five subs, one for every uh, new face we can get on cam. Thank you, Baz. Appreciate it. This guy's name is Plastic Bucket. Let's see what he's got. Okay, I was wondering if he was going to be a Taimanov enjoyer, but evidently not. He doesn't watch the, uh, the YouTube, clearly. We have to dock marks for that. Okay, E5. Basically, he can't decide which opening he actually wants to play, so he's playing all of them at once. E4, E5, and E4, C5. Not a good look already. Now imagine. Imagine you, you queue up, and you're thinking to yourself, man, the scotch. What an interesting opening. Boy, I'd love to play the black side of a scotch without my C pawn. Let's just take the C pawns and let's take them off the board. And miraculously, he was able to do that. Wow. What a phenomenal idea. 
It's amazing how that's just terrible for you. Okay, queen b6, knight takes. Okay. So you got him interested in knight takes. Obviously, you got lucky here. Knight b5, who knows? Maybe in the future you resign. I could see you losing this position um, pretty easily, you know? Maybe we get some big preparation here from white to knock you off. So everybody, uh, PSA, if you're around 1,600, 1,700 in the chess.com pool, um, yeah, this is the stuff worth knowing. Knight b5, if you ever find this guy plastic bucket in the, uh, in the pool, just make sure to play this move, and I mean, I'm sure you'll dominate him uh, in this very, very obvious variation here. Yeah, nice and easy. So, if you ever find him, big PSA, crush him with this line. All right. Okay, obviously, very lucky here that that didn't happen. H5. Okay, white's developing. Bishop g4. All right, there's no f3. So this bishop went to g4. And then we just play knight there and then bring the bishop back and play knight there. I'm trying to understand what's going on here. What was the point of bishop g4? We're chasing the queen away. I feel like you had friends watching and you just you wanted to show off, man. You wanted to show them that white couldn't play f3. That's it. It's not a good move. You just wanted to show off. You're like, hey, if you can't play f3, I'm just going to play bishop g4 to, to remind you of that fact. Wow, really bad game. Really bad game. Bishop g4, that's just mean. I mean, you know the guy can't play f3. Bishop g4 isn't a good move. You do it anyway. You're the type of guy to buy uh, your friend a PS4 game when the guy only has an Xbox. Like, it's just mean. You know he can't play f3. So you do it anyway. It's not good. His position improves. f3. Okay, not, maybe not the best by him. I have to say, don't mind g5. It's kind of a nice move. h4, h3. Dude, what? Am I actually supposed to respect these moves? They're looking kind of good here. H4, H3, G4. Tell me you did it. Okay. All right. All right. Very impressive. Now, Knight F2 coming. Rook F1. At the very least, there's this, if not H3. It's looking like a nice game so far. I'm wondering if you converted it. White seems to be defending pretty well. I would be definitely thinking about stuff like this, but I don't think it works right now. Your move makes sense, h3. I'm still not really buying it, dude. You've got everything, absolutely everything. Where's the KO here? h3, queen e3. Okay, so you've basically submitted probably your nicest game in the history of your account for a roast me session and it's still not even that convincing here queen e3 check here h2 i understand great i'm assuming our opponent is going to stop queen f3 okay he's up three minutes no 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 but guys he's up three minutes think about what that really means that means the guy started with, yes, lo and behold, five. We got a five minute player. And if it wasn't clear enough, we're gonna go into the PGN. And you're gonna notice something right here. We could finish the entire session roasting the guy, but I mean this, we're done right here. The guy plays five plus five. I mean, <laughs> the time control speaks for itself. How much did he pay for this? Five plus five. <laughs> Good lord.
We don't even need to speak about the guy's chest. Like, dude, you're playing five plus five. No wonder you got all the... Yeah, of course you found the move. You're playing five plus five. Wow, great move. Rook takes d3. Knight f2 check. You're playing five plus five, and you're not playing mate in one. And instead, you're going knight f2, and now you're worse. There's two options for mate in two. Dude! This is incredibly bad from Plastic Bucket. 5 plus 5. He's basically playing a cheater time control. No mate in 1. He's looking for worse. Finds it, naturally. And he's not even... Like, at this point, he, he shouldn't even win. Okay, again, checkmate. You know, it's always available, but a little above his level, I think. Again, queen f2, too much to ask, I think. If you didn't see checkmate in one earlier, then obviously checkmate in two, three, four, those are beyond his scope. Okay, a6. So if I'm not mistaken, if we see a6 with 5.5, doesn't that mean he played it with 0.5 seconds on his clock? The buzzer beater, a6. Like, what the hell is a6? Like, I really thought here, used all his time and came up with a6. Dude, 5.1, is this a move with 0.1 seconds? I think it might be. Like, I think that's how we're supposed to interpret it, right? Oh my goodness. How is black the one that's benefiting here from the time pressure? What's uh, the ELO on this? Six... Sixteen hundreds. These are sixteen hundreds. No shot. Don't make them like they used to. Now, the crazy thing in the final position is that white actually resigned, which is a fatal error. After queen f1, we know he wouldn't see checkmate in one, so... <laughs> I don't know why the guy gave up. Again, the guy gets pretty <laughs> lucky here at the end. All of these moves are playable, in my opinion. Probably would have played queen c5 or something. So, I mean, what can we say? Decent game. You got lucky. You play 5 plus 5. Your balls haven't dropped. Nice game. Hope you're doing well as well, Bass Maniac. Toxic Z, thanks for the 21 months. That was about the length of a long song. You accept challenges from Tim any day. That's fair. You see Tim maybe giggling at your game. You say, you know what? I'll uh, TKO uh, Tim anytime the guy wants to start chuckling. Fair play. Standing up for himself there. I can point out that Tim Cannon does have a, a chat history here. Yep, I think he... Yep. WTF, he's 1600. Yep, no, Tim uh, was definitely uh, taking the piss there. Tim's fired up. Tim is fired up. Tim is fired up. You can tell. I think, uh... Tim said he was, uh... Staying in a... A rich, wealthy area. See you, war boys. TC and 5-5 five, five all day. Now, think of it like 5 plus 5 is crazy. You're offering Tim Cannon 5 plus 5? Will Tim even like... Tim will be like 2100 in that time control. I can't tell if... Because Tim's not a 3-0 player. 
He's a 5-0 player. But he's not an increment player either. Tim is a, a niche player where he doesn't want the increment, but he also doesn't want to just play for the flag with 3-0. Very interesting specimen. You'd play him 5 2 Dakuwaka may have, you know, 2 trillion IQ'd a match here. He comes in, puts a game he knows is going to get some attention from the chat, and then whoever laughs at him, he calls out for a match immediately. I gotta, gotta respect the, uh, the matchmaking. He knew Tim Cannon was in Canada for the fan zone, so he knew he could catch Tim lacking with no mouse. And Tim fell right into the trap. Started giggling at the lad. Said, you know what? Don't think he's 1600. Can't believe that. And Tim has been caught lacking. No mouse cannon is now being called out for a match. Very clever stuff from Dakuwaka. Oh, I enjoyed as well, Baz. We saw that yesterday, right? Ali Reza? He pretty much took advantage of exactly that. I saw Tim was at 1600 exactly. So Tim, barely a 1600 himself, criticizing near 1700s. Remarkable, really. Well, that's what happens at the border, Tim. They check your chess.com account. At the fan zone, we decided to give some uh, free merch away to whoever was the lowest rated player in the fan zone. And of course, you're going to have a lot of people like, I I've never played before, I don't have an account. But I wanted the lowest rated player who actually had an account. And we found someone who had an account for years and years and years, and he'd only played one lifetime game. And he still had the account, still logged in, still on his phone. One lifetime game, and it was a bullet game, and he lost. I said, anyone who's got a chess.com account that they can still log into after five years, you've only played one game and you lost it, like, Take the merch, my man. <laughs> if you worked up to this moment when you created that account years ago, you deserve this t-shirt. What was the rating? Something like 500. You know, it's like started at 800, lost the game, 500. No, this guy deserves it. Yes, Chen Zunasumath, as is written. Mattis, what do you think of uh, Tim showing up to Toronto and electing to stay in a gated community? Do you think he's perhaps ashamed of uh, other chess bra viewers? Doesn't want to associate? Indeed, indeed.
speaking of that, Mattis, I have a funny story. Uh, someone that you actually uh, truthfully don't know, but a buddy of mine from that part of uh, Ontario um, that I knew through chess from a while back. I was interested in maybe what the VIP had to offer as opposed to a regular ticket. Um, I said, you know what? I actually think it's worth it, and I do. Um, the VIP is pretty nice. I think it's definitely worth it. Like, for the price difference from a regular ticket, I was like, you should go for it. Uh, that wasn't enough. Like, my vouch wasn't enough. He wanted a tour of VIP. So he wanted to be taken to VIP in the middle of a round to decide whether he would buy VIP. So I don't think that's normal. I, I don't think we offer that service. I don't think we offer that concierge uh, service. I mean, at the end of the day, when you buy a VIP ticket to like uh, a concert or whatever, you just buy it knowing that it might offer you certain things, right? So of course you never buy VIP in the dark, but even for these VIP tickets, it tells you what it includes. Open bar, uh, you know, buffet, so food and drink unlimited, and uh, maybe like certain access to a different viewing area. Obviously it won't be as crowded, you can infer that. So that's why you don't really need to actually go see it because like that's just, it's written there. That's what's included. Nobody gets private tours. That's not a, not a thing. So I said, I don't think that's actually how it happens. <laughs> so I go, okay, uh, yeah, well, I'm just, you know, I'm going to look into it myself. And uh, I think the answer was no, Mattis. I don't think ended up going for it. But I thought it was interesting. It's like, you know, food and drink, I might have to go up there and try the cookies. I don't know if they're going to be cookies that are going to be worth it for me to buy. And now that you mention it, um, could I try the, what kind of whiskey do you guys have? I want to make sure that it tastes like the whiskey that, that I would want. Um, and, and, and yeah, now that I mention it, how are the sandwiches? Are they, uh, might have to sit here for about 15 minutes on this sofa, just to make sure that it's comfortable the way I would want it to be comfortable for the VIP experience that I'm looking for. And I mean, look, open bar, open bar. And literally, not just like unlimited food, but like good options. They mix it up every day. Had some Italian, Greek, sandwiches, burgers, different food every day, salads, full like dessert and fruit bar. I'm like, they did pretty well up there. I'm not going to lie. Anybody that asks me if VIP is worth it, I'm like, yes, straight up. <laughs> I'll be the first to criticize, but not here. Do you have any ins to upgrade to VIP? Oh, but you guys now want to do what this guy was trying to do. Remember? Because he already had the ticket. So he was trying to upgrade. So now you guys all want private tours. But I'm saying my description of this stuff wasn't enough to just upgrade. On top of all this, you wanted a tour. <laughs> I'm like, I just gave you the tour. Of course it's sold out, Spudge. What do you expect? I think pretty much the whole event is sold out. Not just regular tickets, but VIP as well. Hella sold out. Long gone, my friend.
Digilols is the guy that would put it to use. You know, Mattis, what's funny is I hadn't actually seen the video before. Shocking, I know. But I noticed a few kind of erroneous Sana comments that looked like the only precursor to them could have been a video like that from you, if that makes sense. So I somehow I already had a blueprint of what I could be expecting in my mind. And it was pretty much what it was. <laughs> A great game there from Dakuwaka. I believe so, uh, WCC. Hello, Bam Dizzle. Music is, uh, Pretty nice. Let's see if we can push to 600 and then finish our speedrun segment for the morning. I'm enjoying the, uh, this is Eric Prids at uh, Ultra Miami. By the way, uh, YouTube is doing something uh, interesting, right? It's not just me, like this layout is like very confusing. I feel like the layout was perfect the way they had it, but they're doing something. All right, let's go. This is our big idea. 97 G6. Maybe Blunder the Night? Okay. Definitely this move is happening. Let's go d6 and bishop g4 though. Uh, I think takes takes is not that scary. We can go back here to be nice and safe, but I think we can do this. I have two squares that I'd really love to use. d4 and f4. We start with knight d4. c6 we want to happen, knight f4, could be quite scary already. Okay, here we go. Watch out, buddy. Don't move the rook, don't move it, don't do it. Think of the future. Think of what's about to happen. Okay. Thought about the future. Respect. Respect. We'll need to involve some of our other pieces here. I kind of like this one. Just a great square for the knight. A backwards knight move to guard a checkmate? I mean, I'm just... Applause, right?
Okay. Hmm. H5 is looking real tasty here. Knight takes e5, queen g5, remember, so the knight might have to go back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Only got one move. Yeah, this is going to be tough to, to get out of. Probably this is the, the best try. I mean, it's got to be lost, but while we can win the queen here, I'm not exactly sure if we can do significantly better than that. Knight h3 doesn't look like much. I think I'm probably going to go rook takes h2 here. Seems uh, to be the most reliable, just not letting the king escape. And then here we have a nice mate like this. Okay, good game, good game. Can't let that one slip away. Yeah, so against the four knights, uh, you know, they, they think knight f6 is coming, four knights, everybody's seen it. We instead go for the three, three and a half knights variation. Knight e7, knight g6. And I always am trying to get e4, e5 positions with knight on g6 and queen on f6. More or less. Seems to be working so far. Turquoise Tomato, thanks for the prime sub. Gunnar Stahl, thanks for the 33 months with prime. Northrop, 26 with prime. And Spudge gifted two more subs. Thank you, Spudge. The primes are coming in, exclamation mark prime. Candidates rest day, so time for a new speed run. Okay, here we go. E5, knight c6, you already know. Bishop b5, and the Hamilton defense. Queen f6. Now, if they try to put that knight in there, I'll probably play bishop d6. Okay, we see d3, I'll go bishop c5, knight e7, h6, d6, knight g6. All those kind of moves are what I'm planning. All right, queen g6, so probably h6 next to hit that pawn on g2. We might see castle, and we do. Nice and simple. Thinking of going here. Maybe just d6 as well. I should kind of like just, just doing that. Like, yeah, this exists, but d4 is kind of hard to pull off because this bishop's also loose. Queen d2 to guard the bishop. Okay, okay, okay. But I have this bishop as well. Knight h4 can happen. Hmm. I think the bishop's trying to go back there. Let's start with this one. Knight h4 can be played, but I'll move the queen and I think the pieces are a little bit weird. Remember, there is a nice pin on this F-pawn. Okay, let's have a look here. Queen H5. If H3, G4, I'm ready to sacrifice. Uh, yeah, H6 next. The bishop's going to have to move. The knight's going to be loose. We have H6 ready to go no matter what, pretty much. My queen's actually safe here. There's no, like, bishop e2 in the future. Should be okay. So we can go back, and then on g4, maybe look to take. Or we can play h6 now, and go like that. Both look pretty decent.
Hmm. Yeah, with the open, uh, with the open H file, I think this could actually be kind of fun. Maybe we can get a nice checkmate. The classic 92. We probably would prefer knight f5, but yeah, this is okay as well. Let's go for this g pawn here. I think we'll grab this. This is the other move. Yeah, I think I might play this. Just threaten knight d4, which I think is a really nice move to have. And he can't guard g4. So let's start with this. I was thinking of castling, but it just blunders f7. So uh, very, very good move by white to take, by the way. Very smart. Okay, I got a cool move for us here. Rook h4. G3 takes. Actually, it's a fork. And if not, I'm threatening this and just me. So, not that this uh, wins on the spot, but it's going to have some decisions to make. We'll see if he can survive this attack here. It's not much. It's, you know, it's just a dark squared bishop and a dream here. It looks kind of scary. Oh, a great game from the 500. Absolutely. All right, knight there. You got me. I'm going to take. Waiting for this. Okay, let's play a6. A5, you might go like that anyway. I just want to make sure this bishop stays on that diagonal. Like, this bishop is going to run the game if it can stay there. Maybe we can go for the... Hmm. Maybe we can go for this. Rook g3. <laughs> Just put it there? <laughs> it's not falling for the stage, is it? It's not making the mistakes I'm looking for. That guy's too damn good. Tai Chi 2 is a funny looking move. Rook E3 is also hilarious. Wait, why am I hearing things twice? Do you hear that? What the? It feels like the game is like open twice or something. I only noticed it just there. What the hell? Okay, what the heck? It was like it was like making the move, and it was it was like hearing the check twice. Okay, that was a weird sensation at the end. So here again, like rookie three is a good move. I played knight g three because I'm like, okay, uh, the guys are just gonna get mated surely. Nope. Unbelievable. These are like 500s from hell, man. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Like, for example, game review. Like, give the man his props. 82.4 with a brilliancy. Rook e3 is brilliant. That's crazy. Crazy move. Rook e3. Not even the best move. Somehow gets a brilliancy. Like, I'm in shock at this brilliancy. Why is it brilliant? Incredible. I mean, I think it's a tough move to see. 
But brilliancy. Man. Usually a brilliancy has to be a good move, right? Maybe it's a brilliancy because it's factoring in that I played knight g3 next. So it's like, you know what? In this game, it was a brilliancy. Goes from 0 0.00 to minus 0 0.22. Brilliant. <laughs> Unbelievable. No, but this was like, we didn't see any blunders from him. Seriously. Zero blunders. The most he had was an inaccuracy. He actually had zero blunders. He truthfully had zero mistakes. His only mistake was this move, which he's, this is like random time pressure stuff. But at this point I was just shuffling. Zero mistakes, zero blunders, 500 elo. I'm saying, like, these guys are just cut from a different cloth here. Absolutely insane. Everyone is so strong. All right. I almost lost two games so far. Hello for the Queen's Eye. Thanks for 31 months, 35 months from DKTQ. Thanks for the prime, man. All right. E4 Knight. F6, maybe we can go here? Yes. Perfect. Little knight F6. Okay, knight F6, knight C6. Great. Pegasus plunge time. Ooh, spicy. Okay, okay. I don't think this is worth it. So let's just go like this. Hmm. Kind of uh, barely surviving here. Um. Rook here we can also take. D3, bishop E3, castle. Looking pretty solid here. Ah, uh, we like to see these moves. Perfect. If we go here, there might be bishop B4. Let's just get castled. Another great start for our, our openings here. Bishop here, probably bishop e6, just to trade. Here, we have bishop f7. Should still be good. Even if he finds this move, I think we'll take and take. And then we have bishop g5. It'll simplify to a nice rook end game for us. I mean, what are these 550s? Aren't they just built different? Like, <laughs> I'm in shock at the quality of the moves here. Okay. Wouldn't have been surprised to see Bishop F2 there. <laughs> Truly wouldn't.
Jeez. Five hundreds, man. They are not five hundreds I remember. Always a yes to trades. Can pre move this one because it'll be a good move regardless. Hmm. He's outpacing us a little bit. We need to go here. Wow. Another amazing game. Really. These guys are very impressive. Like, I thought 500 was... You basically just made a chess.com account. Or... You've at least played enough games that you're kind of established. At 500. And it's like, how could this... How could a player like this stay at 500? It's shocking to me. I would think seven eight hundred is in this guy's future immediately. Seventy one months from Hillbuck. Thanks, buddy. Hillbuck, the openings here are new ones that we've cooked up. Ninety five is one of them. Impressive stuff here. I think taking here and bishop c4 is another nice way to play. Bishop b4, like, man, this was pretty well played by my opponent. All right, let's go. Whoa! Okay, okay. Well, there's only one tried and true way to handle this. Let's support this pawn on e5. And lend some support to the pawn on f7. And then lend a bit more support to the pawn on f7. Oh! That's, my guy's cooked here. Absolutely cooked. But that's why you don't play this nonsense. Get it out of here. Get it out of here.
Let's go here so that we win his queen as well. Because now... We can ensure the victory. Knight d4. What are you waiting for, dude? All you do is move your queen. You're not going to move it now? All of a sudden, now you're genius? Where did this come from? Hmm. Guy's impressive. All of a sudden, he knows how to play. All right, I credit where credit's due. No, not falling for this. I'll give it to him, I'll give it to him. It's a lot of stuff hanging here. Hmm. Check. 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 Mate. Check, 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 check me. What happened here? A deserved punishment for such nonsense. Ridiculous, if you ask me. Bishop c4, queen h5 getting punished. You love to see that. You really do. Hopefully, no one here falls victim to that nonsense. You should be above that by now. All right, e4 ourselves. e6. We're against the French, which means c3, knight f3. And this guy played queen h4 to e4. Holy, just, you have to just tip your hat to stuff like that. Good lord, the, the beat, the fake out. E6, you think he's playing D5, but he's not. Queen H4 takes E4, incredible stuff. I could never have expected it. Outsmarted. Okay. D4, we want D5, okay? Castle, no, maybe H3, okay, D5. Okay, I figured he was on some, some sauce there. I figured he was on to the good stuff. We need to prepare. Okay, C4, right? Now, it might be this now, but I, I think we might even see this. 
Okay, C for taking the square. Night before, like, what are these guys even on? All right, we're going to castle. Just uh, remarkable stuff. Fortunately, his queen's not trapped. I was building up to trap his queen with c4, bishop, d3, but the guy went for his own aggressive idea. This is key, stopping that. The queen was supposed to be trapped, but he uh, managed a way out. Okay, happy to trade this knight. Um, okay, bishop b4. Are these really 500s? I'm in shock. I mean, I don't think it was a terrible queen sack. I think it was a reasonable attempt. I would rather sack the queen than just be down a knight, you know? We are going to win that knight in the corner, though. I'm just annoyed that I have to actually spend time to go take it. How annoying. How frustrating. Maybe we can take this way and try to take it with the queen so that we seem like we're still productive. All right, I'll take that. Remember, I, I'm not that interested in the knight. <laughs> I don't know what these moves are, but I'll take, I'll fall for it. Here, here. Hmm. I think the most forcing mate is obviously this. Just the most boxy checkmate. Now the knight's covering these. There you go. The rest is easy. We can pick, but obviously this one is much worse. Much worse. Damn, and we didn't even take his knight. Well, I have to say, credit to this guy. He fully outsmarted us with queen h4 takes e4. God damn. Didn't expect that against uh, our opening. We haven't seen our line against the French that much, but hey, I can't lie. I was expecting d5, so I got got. Michael2288, thanks for the 15 months with Prime. 17 months with Prime from John DX. 550, let's make it 600. Ah, no, this is more what we were talking about. It's interesting. C3, knight, f3. You know, every grandmaster would take that pawn. These guys all say no. Huh. All right. go b4 but i think just d4 is fine the knight gets to return there okay so we basically have a french where instead of knight d7 the opponent has played the knight like that interesting so e4 e6 d4 d5 right 
knight f3, knight f6, e5, knight d7, c3, but now it's my turn again. So I'm ahead here by just a little bit. By the way, what is this? He offered a draw, and then he canceled a draw offer. How do you cancel a draw offer? That's not legal. What do you mean cancel a draw? How do you cancel a draw? Oh, buddy's giving me the time emote. Oh my goodness. You guys cooking me. How do you decline a draw offer? I'm serious. I don't think you can do that. He declined his own draw. I'm going to play this. I like C4 here. Butner, thanks for the 43 months with Prime. I'm in shock that you can uh, cancel. Oh, easy there, bud. I guess like this, just to stay energetic. Might be C4 to deal with. It's not really me, so there is that. That's the good part, at least. I'll go here for now. Yeah, like it's pretty clear what he wants, but it's not, it's not actually checkmate. So maybe we can allow it. I think we're supposed to defend it. If we're being good, we'll defend it. Yeah, maybe now he can accept the draw that he previously offered. Accept his own draw. Holy. What a move from the guy. Damn, time, man. I sent him the time emote. Oh, damn. <sighs> Sucks. Thin switch. Good game. It was the, it was the time emote. He knew it. Uh, I, was, I was cooked on time the, in, the entire time. He said I had to watch my time. and uh, Vin switch knew something that I didn't. He, he warned me. Oh man, what is he hitting me with now? The shocked? Oh no, horror! Horror. I got hit with the horror face. It's the Kevin McAllister. Well, I gotta give him some credit there. Well played against the French, my man. I don't know how people don't take here. It's actually kind of remarkable. Kind of remarkable. Jigahertz, thanks for the prime sub for 25 months. Well, he was right. 
We were down too much on time. We didn't stand a chance this game. Shucks. 600 is uh, ever evasive. Hopefully we're able to manage that better in the future. I would love for someone to actually go into these beautiful lines we've cooked up here. But in time, in time, it'll take some getting used to. Sigma squared things for the five months with Prime. Perfect. We get to play the undefeated with the white pieces. My dream. This is my dream. Most people who blunder their bishop there blunder it. Knight d4 is a move there, and it does still, uh, it does still make sense. I was thinking about how funny the variation is that the inclusion of a3 is beneficial to me in almost every line, but maybe in this one, it's actually not. Because the knight has b3 in the future? I don't know. Kind of a funny thing I thought about. I want to go here, but the guy could definitely uh, KO me with a move like that. Does he have that kind of energy? I'm undeveloped, but I got an extra piece. Come on now. You gotta respect that. Mm-hmm. Obviously, the less attractive move is Long Castle. But if he trades queens, then I'm happy with all of it. All of the above. Yeah, if there's no queen on the board, then I don't think I can really get uh, mated or anything here. Nice and simple. I'm up a piece, I'm trading pieces. That's what we love to see. Good fundamentals. Rook c8 to play c5, I guess. Hmm. This exists, but we got to go for something else here. Maybe mate on g8? We have to call our shot here. I need him to go here. <laughs> I called mate on g8. It's got to be mate on g8.
Come on, man. Killing me here. Mate on G8, huh? <laughs> okay. Good. I almost went back on my word there. Why are the shelves empty? Well, they used to have merch on them, bud. So maybe uh, they got sold. You never know. There's no way that they're just sitting on top of the shelves. <laughs> How much for the belt? It ain't for sale. That's how all good negotiations start. Genius. A3 against Scandinavian, and we're just playing the undefeated, but with white. That's what I like to see. Uh, Tanji... JQ, thanks for the 14 months. Cheers, buddy. Let's keep pushing. E4, E5, yes. Okay. Now, what opening? There's so many uh, moves here. All right. The Hamilton defense against the Rui Lopez. Early queen out. Goal. To develop the knight to g6, but we're gonna need to develop this bishop soon. White threatening knight d5 kills us here because if you put the knight first, our bishop has no way to get out, so we have to play bishop d6. Okay, knight here is absolutely the intention. Okay, so we're thinking about something like this covering the d5 square, h6, another key move to play. If our queen gets attacked, we pretty much always play queen g6. And yeah, h6 is so, uh, so important. I think we want to do it. The other move would be maybe to castle. I'm trying to think which one's more important. They're kind of, yeah, kind of similar. Start with this. Pretty reasonable move there. Knight takes, um, looks good. I'm also looking at pawn takes. <coughs> Bishop h3 threatened there. I mean, it's not like Bishop h3 wins the game or anything. <laughs> it's not that good. But I still like opening the bishop up quickly. Knight takes is the only other move I'd consider. Never b takes. Now that move actually, I'm not sure is good because I kind of want my queen back here and my knight back here. It does get rid of this bishop h3 threat though. 
Queen h5, g6 is no good, and oops. Oh no, after moving my queen, he didn't realize I was attacking it. That was the whole reason we did that. This move coming in quick, f5 as well. Here, he does have queen g3. Takes, queen takes. I think we'll most likely go here, though. H5 has the idea of bishop g4. Kind of common idea when you have this setup. Queen h4 with f4, or queen h5 with f5, and you have queen on f6, trying to play bishop there is normally good. Takes, takes. I'm going to take this one first. There is this, but I can take and play f3. We can also play this, but... Obviously, we're not going to forego uh, material. It's right in front of us. F3 takes. And we can activate this bishop to F3. And once it's on F3, I think that king is getting mated on H1. Like, just no matter what. We want to go there, of course. Let's do this one so that takes we can take with the bishop. But yeah, king here, rook h8. Respect. Very good game from Casa 1963. We hit him with the Hamilton defense here. A lot of deep theory brewing about this one. There's another really good idea that uh, we could have showcased here. Um, I should play it more, but knight d4. And the idea being... Well, I guess bishop takes makes it a little more obvious, but... King takes knight d5, then you can move the king and you have c6 as a threat. Um, but usually the bishop, if it's not developed yet, white plays knight e2. And then you have this funny looking move, queen h5, threatening checkmate and also threatening the bishop. So this knight d4 move is often useful. Wasn't winning like a piece necessarily here, but pretty nice. Yeah, I think our setup worked to perfection there. Wow, the Duke of a Noose 69. Thank you to the Duke. Big Prime subscription there. Tier 3 from Sist at all, 46 months. Let's keep going. Okay, not much to say about G3. I think... Uh, Taking the center should be a priority. 
at 500 ELO. So we're just going to send the H pawn up the board. Don't mind if I do. Okay, let's put the queen here. I'm a simple guy. I'm going all in, man. Trying to punish the g3 move. Of course, knight here makes some threats. Queen h5. Hmm. You know, gotta, gotta give him some respect for at least finding a defensive uh, move there. Huh. It's pretty reliable. I think bishop takes to keep the king kind of in a box there. I want to do this. Stops knight d1. I don't know if that was a threat. I assume knight d5. I'll castle. And I think we just want some mate like rook h3, bishop check, rook h8. One, two, and three. So. Castle, uh, not castle, maybe. Castle, I just need to delay it for an extra move. Um, kind of annoying. Just because when we castle, <laughs> our bishop will be pinned here. <laughs> huh. Yeah, king e7 drops this with check, king d7, same thing. Okay, I think we'll castle. Annoying. Because, yeah, I'd love to go here and here, but it only works. I don't think it works. King b8. Strong. Nice finish there. Yeah, just if I did it uh, eh, previously, then I was uh, not able to play bishop f3 here. So, of course, these are great moves, but I was just trying to get this mate, and unfortunately, I couldn't do that, and I couldn't do this because it was pinned, so. Okay, g3, not much of an opening. I just decided to go straight for h5, h4. Whenever there's no knight here and someone's fan catoing, I think pushing the h-pawn is always a good, uh, a good way to do it. Let's keep it up. Two full hundred, thanks for the 58 months, almost five years. Down 928, thanks for the gifted sub as well. 
Cheers, Jason. Okay, e4. We got knight f3 ready here. We got a3 ready here. A few people played e6, but not many. <laughs> so now it's key. You gotta go c3, knight f3, pre move. This is necessary. I'm wondering where all the d5 players are. It's like, don't you play the French? Okay. We might get a win right here. C3, too good. Okay, easy plus seven, massive KO. Thirty months from freeze. Thanks for the thirty-eight. We'll take it. I'm going e5 against this. I'm going knight c6, and we'll see what white does. Knight here. So. This is where we want to play our knight g6 maneuver. Yeah, let's get h6 in. Very important to cover that square. Okay, bishop d2, not a very aggressive move. Looking a little soft here. Because I'm seeing so many soft moves, I'm going to play a6. Uh, because I was expecting this, which is why I didn't play d6. I figured he was going to do that. Okay, b3, like this. And now we get our setup. Queen f6, castle, a knight f4. For sure this looks like a decent move to take, but I'm not going to do it here because I don't want his pawn covering f4. I want the f4 square for myself. Okay, I wonder if he's going to castle. G3 is another move. I might do G3, to be honest. Yeah. It does drop a pawn, but I had a feeling that he, he had a little G3 in him. He seemed like that kind of guy. Maybe move the knight? Knight c3, we're going to have to guard uh, d5 somehow with the bishop or the knight. Knight e7, for example. I think we're okay with that. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not checkmate, but I think we were all pretty certain he was going to mess that move up. Let's take this way to keep the knight offside and maybe play queen e3. But queen takes d4 was a fantastic move as well. Do we go there or do we just take? I think it might take, actually. Bishop here, we do have g6. Hmm. Up to us, really, how we want to play it. This one looks... Like, you might forget this bishop is here and play this at the end. So, queen e2 takes, 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 maybe takes there? No, it goes here. Not the move I would have expected. But the 500s have been so strong. I really mean that. Like, I'm very impressed. If we check here, he can run this way. So I guess we'll start like this. 
But queen d2, queen g3, rook f2. I don't think we'll have an exact mate. Ah. The queen there does make it easier. That's checkmate. Arnav. So this is uh, my opening against the four knights. I call it the three and a half knights variation. Knight e7, knight g6, and queen f6, h6. h6 is so important. Your knight here doesn't really do well against these moves, like knight g5. Queen h5 is really annoying against this. So you need h6 as soon as possible. Also, if you play queen here, you're getting killed by bishop there, getting killed by knight there, so you don't want to just bring this queen out no matter what. But yeah, h6 is key. And here I knew if I played this, he was going there, which is why I did that. And yeah, I don't really want to take the bishop because then I don't have f4, so trying to avoid bishop takes at all times. E4, what are we going to get? E5, knight f3. Okay, I'm going for it. Got my knights out. Remember, bishop c5 we can take. Knight h6, I... <laughs> I haven't seen it. I can't lie. This is a new move for me. <laughs> you got me, uh, you got me there. Right, knight d5 is always available. I think we'll probably go here. Whoa! d5. Amazing move. Wow. All right, I'm taking. I'm going to take again. Oh, man. I'd like to think this leads to something good for me. Question mark? Like, what the heck? How is this not completely winning? Hmm. I'm almost impressed. Kind of a good try, but you have to remember, h3 actually made a threat. f7 is looking very tender right now. Oh, man. Ouch, that's too painful. Well, that was one too many. Maybe if he had castled there instead of uh, taking back, there was a chance, but 
Let's give a check. If he goes here, we can maybe hunt him down like this. Mm, GG. Yeah, there's a reason why this is not called the Four Nights. This isn't even the Three and a Half Nights. This is still the Three Nights opening. You know how, like, bad your move has to be that it doesn't change the name of the opening? Like, that's a different level. Like, have a look at this. This is called the Three Nights opening, right? This is called the Four Nights game. This is still the fucking Three Nights. You know how bad your move has to be that it doesn't even contribute to the name of the open? Like, it doesn't even... They're like, oh. So they don't have six? Okay, four knights. It's not on F6? What, H6, you said? Fuck it. Still call it the three knights. That move sucks. <laughs> Keep it at three knights. That... <laughs> don't, don't give him the wrong idea. Doesn't help at all. <laughs> That's rough, man. You guy's getting no credit here. Poor guy. But our opening holds up. Just the classic. Two nights out. We got one more game. Hopefully, we can hit it. This is for the big six hundo. We're going with the undefeated here. Obviously, I've never lost in it, so it's a pretty good opening to be playing to hit a new rating. Hit a new rating goal. H3, okay. I'll bite. Knight here is a bit of a weird move because it uh, doesn't threaten anything. That's not a threat. So obviously we could go bishop f2 and take it. But... We're covering c7. Okay, g3. Now, think about this. What move does he want to play? Bishop f4. So we have to look like we're going to make a threat. So we miss bishop f4. We play a6 hitting the knight, assuming that he will move the knight back. We pre-move knight e4. But he won't have moved the knight back. He'll have played bishop f4 to hit the queen, and we'll look like an idiot for knight e4. Oh, wait, but the knight didn't move back. Oh, knight c7. Damn it. Oh, now I have to lose my queen. Man, that sucks. There we go. We were one step ahead of him the entire time. He telegraphed it. He made it too obvious after g3. Knew exactly what he was going to do. We'll take a big 600. Guys, I am going to be the first to say it. Being out of the 500s actually something that means, means a lot to me. It really does. The 500s that we played today are legitimately strong. Much stronger than 500. I'm happy that we're out of the 500s ourselves. I don't, I don't want anything to do with those guys. I'm looking to leave them behind me. I might have to play a few more of them in the 600s, but hopefully not too many. <laughs> I really, I really felt like those guys were, were super strong. Yeah, the hardest games are like right at the beginning, and then, you know, kind of gets a bit better. Then the 8 900s hit. Then the 1300s. Toughest rating category on chess.com, we all know that.
think we'll leave it uh, at 600 for now. Obviously, we'll be continuing this speedrun featuring our openings that are just exclusively developed in-house. I mean, that's just the feel-good uh, the feel-good story of the year. Well, what do you think, Pawn Nugget? Uh, Crazy Fall 3, thanks for the three months with Prime. There we go. 600, we'll leave it there for now. I'll switch accounts here. While we take a short break and perhaps determine if it's too early for marbles. Wow. Uh, great question. I'll be back. Leaving her at 600. GG's. We'll continue the series, of course. I need my KNVB account now. You never know when there's Marvel synergy lurking. 